<laughs> the drone hacking playbook here has our entire open sourced drone hacking methodology. So uh, because we felt like the industry needed a little more information and we don't feel like just hiding it all behind closed doors, you can go and basically take everything that we do to normally get into these kind of drones in the field. You'll learn that same methodology and can go apply it in our workshop. If you succeed at our workshop and are looking for something even more rigorous to bite your teeth into, the moment that this cage is built, which you will know because it will be twice as tall and will have netting, there is going to be a CTF uh, where if you can complete it by writing enough Python code to be able to deauth the drone, take it over and get it through some hoops, uh, and that's maybe the only hoop I'll ask you to jump through, then I have explicit aerospace coins and hardware and Dark Wolf swag to give you guys for your efforts. That's going to be for the pros, though. Seriously, keep an eye on the workshop. The moment that you see a seat open up, it is yours for the taking. Take this opportunity any time from now through Sunday, and I beg of you, absorb this methodology, go through the workshop, wait for this to be deployed, fly the drones for fun so you can have a mental break, and then take a shot at the CTF. The coins are fancy. I want to give them all away. Don't force me to give them to our team. You beautiful people deserve to earn them. Um, Anybody here with Dark Wolf swag or gear on can answer any questions for you about this stuff. We're the people who basically test all the commercial drones for the feds so they don't have to. The big problem is when you are in an industry where all you want to do is cheaply produce things that go work out in the field, you don't take a lot of consideration into security unless the law forces you to. All of that law and uh, general consideration is pretty new for the autonomous system space. Because unless you're deploying stuff to the military with all sorts of annoying things like the risk management framework behind you, why would you encrypt your data or do anything that's going to affect the speed of your uplink or downlink, right? Um, you only have so much compute power on a small device like this, God forbid, you actually hide your AWS keys or encrypt your data link up and down or things like that. You will find a lot of really simple problems that are super common across commercial autonomous systems in general. And that's why it's easy to create a workshop, well I wouldn't say easy, but we did it anyways, that demonstrates a lot of these things. You guys know how to go through Android phones and find files, or use basic Wi-Fi cracking tools, or read man pages as SSH into things. And oftentimes, the unfortunate truth is that that's all it takes to be able to break into these kind of things. If you have any experience doing any amount of IoT hacking, you are probably halfway to being a drone hacking expert yourself. You can go prove it here, and then talk to us some more if you want to learn additional things. But even if you don't have a chance to get hands-on with the workshop, like if you go to this site and just steal the whole methodology, copy-paste it, deploy it yourself, I don't really care. You'll have everything you need. The secret is, if you really don't get the chance to do any of this all weekend, and you come bug us on Sunday, I might even give you the direct GitHub link to be able to go recreate this lab yourself. We're not picky. We wouldn't be giving our entire methodology away if we were. Um, really the only thing that's bugging me right now is that we're waiting on Rio FedEx for the rope so that you guys don't fly this everywhere and uh, get us in trouble with the Las Vegas Convention Center. But, yeah. Uh, again, keep an eye out for seats. There is not a sign-up sheet because that would be too chaotic and uh, honestly that would just be too much work for us. But if you have a laptop and any amount of ability to go use Linux, uh, or Windows even, I guess if you have um, uh, Linux subsystem or whatever turned on, you'll be able to go through all this. WSL, there we go. The URL for dronewolf.darkwolf.io is exactly what I just said. Or you can just scan the QR code there. Uh, I'm right here, you know where I live if it leads you to something bad. So steal this link, take that with you, bookmark it, learn a little bit about that, go do the drone hacking workshop later, watch for this to be built, come fly the drones, do the CTF, and then I will give you a coin personally and a smile. Well, I, yeah, yeah, whichever the two you guys want, and or.